everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do just because it's going to be a DIY video. So I'm going to show you guys how you can make these two metallic jars that are so 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 beautiful and super easy to make. You don't really need to spend a lot of money or time on this and it's a really nice idea for a gift for example. I have two of my best friends uh, birthdays coming up soon so I had to come up with something to offer them as a gift for their birthdays and I decided to make something myself just because it's a little bit more personal and special and I know they will love it. So the jars are the ones I have right there in the little table in the corner and one is a little bit taller than the other one. Both can be used for candles but the taller one I chose to use for flowers, like a flower pot or a flower jar. The smaller one that I just made, it has this losangle uh, pattern that I think is so nice with a candle on because the light goes through the holes and make this really beautiful patterns. I still have the wooden top of the jars to close them so they can also be used for so many other things. It's really up to you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So first of all you will need two glass jars, one a bit taller than the other. You will also need paper tape and a metallic spray paint. I am using this copper one. Start by removing the jar lids, if the jars have them, because you will not need them. And what we will do is cover the areas we do not want to spray paint. What you leave uncovered is what is going to be metallic. You also don't want to paint the bottom of the jars because the paint may stain the surface of the table even after it is dry. So you should cover the whole surface with tape. And don't worry too much with the end bits because you can then cut them off with a cutter by making the shape of the bottom surface. Now get a long piece of tape, stick it to the table and start to rip it in half in a way that it creates an uneven border. Stick this tape in the middle of the jar with the ripped border facing down. It is a bit tricky to make both ends touch each other, but do not stress out, just unstick them and redirect them until they do meet each other. And this should be more or less what you have so far. You also want a copper halo at the top of the jar, and for that you have to stick tape around the border of the jar, leaving a 5mm gap, like this. After that, you just have to cover with tape the area between the top halo and the ripped border. To finish, you want to cover the top inner part of your jar with tape to make sure that no paint goes into the jar when you are spraying it. And this one is ready. Now the smaller jar, and in this one we will have a diamond pattern. I wanted a small area of glass between each diamond, so I had to cut my tape into thinner strips, half centimeter wide. Then you should stick each strip to your jar with an angle and this will define the angle of the diamond sides. The next strip should be placed with the same angle and 2 cm distanced from the previous one. And just continue with this process until you cover the whole surface of your jar. Now you want to do the exact same thing but with the strip angle to the opposite side and by joining each end to an existing end of another tape. Then continue to place the strips with the same angle and with 2 cm distance from one another. The end result should look like something more or less like this. And finally cover the bottom of the jar and the top inner part as you did before. And you have both jars ready to be sprayed. When you spray paint, make sure the jars are facing down and do it outside or in a well-ventilated room with some protection so you don't paint anything else besides the jars themselves. Let them dry completely and then start peeling off the tape. If you see that you have some ink in a place you don't want the ink to be because it licked or something like that, don't worry, you can scratch it off. And 
there you have it, just two beautiful metallic jars to decorate your home. And that was it, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you make this at home, send me pictures, tag me on Instagram and all of that. There's a lot of different patterns you could make with this, it's all up to your imagination so if you do make a different pattern, send me a picture because I would really really love to see that. And yeah, that was it, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next week, goodbye!